Uh, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Um, <clears throat> to start our Q and A session, first of all, I will open up the time with uh, the Epistle of James, chapter one, verse five. In I will be reading in Mizal so that it will be clear for each and every one of us. In zinga tu po in fin na atlak tamtuan mi zong zong ni na how lowly we love up a chin to but yan to the rose to the tuan and hina peg and yang. May God bless the Bible first. Let's look up to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the showers of blessings we received during our previous session. Lord, right now we are about to have a Q&A session. Lord, we are at a very young age and Lord, we have a lot and a lot of questions, even out of the questions we have shared. Lord, please fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we may have the, the true knowledge of you and to, to have more deeper faith in you. Lord, we handed our resource person and um, the one who is going to answer our questions. Lord, please be with us throughout the session, committing ourselves and our time into a loving hand. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. And... Um, excuse me. Now, uh, we will be calling up our resource person, Linda Hildozwali. She is from Tui Chiang Ving in uh, Natyal EGF. And uh, she used to serve as an EU treasurer and EGF secretary uh, during her college days. And now she is working junior grade of Mizoram Agriculture Service in Natyal. <clears throat> Sister, you may take your time. Is she available here? Yes, sister. Yeah, okay. Mm. Over yes. to you, sister. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, sister, uh, sister Hosanna, for this time and all the mm, team. And I thank our almighty God for giving us this wonderful time. Uh, I think I can see uh, the groups. We have till group six. So, uh, group one to six. So, I mm, welcome you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I hope that we will have a blessed time through this practical talk of, on the topic of stewardship. Um, I think you already have a blessed time in the uh, previous days. Uh, uh, in the morning, we have aims of UESI with Brother Philip. I think it was an eye-opening moment for all of us. Uh, and I am also blessed. Uh, before we start our um, session, uh, let us look to God in prayer. Yes, our Heavenly Father, our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much, Lord, for giving us this wonderful time today evening, Lord for this discipleship training camp, Lord Father. We thank you so much for your presence with us, Lord Father. We ask your Holy Spirit to lead us, Lord. We know that we are nothing, Lord, but you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy of our love, Father. So this moment, Lord, as we are going to study together, learn together your words, Lord, we pray that you will lead us, Lord. You're, you alone will have all the glory and honor, Lord. We give you praises, and we commit to you this time, Lord, take complete control of our life in this time. In Jesus' most precious name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Yes, uh, today, I think without taking much time, uh, my session is still 1.10 to 2.10. After that, uh, I think we have another session. So I will, we will start without... Uh, Wasting much of our time. If the tech team is ready, you can kindly share our screen sharing. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, today we are going to study. I mean, we are going to learn, and I myself is going to also going to learn about this stewardship. So 
I ask all of you for your kind cooperation and uh, for your, yes, for your uh, humble ears and eyes. Thank you. So stewardship, stewardship is, uh, is a God's given responsibility and accountability. It's that in general stewardship, I think we might have heard or might not have heard also, it may be our first time also. So uh, stewardship is like to manage something on one's behalf because God has given us uh, the responsibility and accountability to occupy this land. To, uh, since our forefathers, not since Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. So I, we will be studying, uh, learning about stewardship today. So stewardship means everything belongs to God. And we are the steward who are responsible for, for God's service. And we will give account to this, to our master, God. No, So uh, this life is not, uh, it's, it's not forever. It's not eternity. So as a Christian, we all believe that there is a heaven and we are going to meet our Lord Father, Jesus, someday. So while we are still on this earth, as, as a steward, we are given responsibilities. So uh, we will give account to our master how we are handling this stewardship. And then... When we are good stewards over whatever God has entrusted to us, many people around us will also be positively impacted and our stewardship will have a dominant effect. And let's remember that as we handle our given responsibilities, both at home and at work. So suppose now also we are having camp and we are given different responsibilities, right? As being a camper and being uh, in the... Uh, core team, being in the tech team, or being the director, or everything, we are given responsibilities. So uh, that is all God's uh, service. So how we handle that, uh, how we uh, handle that responsibility, God is seeing over us. Uh, so next slide, please. Uh, in the next slide, we see that God is uh, giving, giving us a stewardship through growing. That is, God is working in and through us. And also God is, uh, we are the stewardship allowing God to use you. We are going to allow God to use us. Like, uh, how to say, can impact na zon zil akhan patiyan na rao pui chintani. So vang zon yin, can impact na zon zil, gin mani can available na zon zil akhan yin patiyan rao pui na kan huang. A dai tuk te hemi hi atinein ang lao me te ya. Inge, like our level of, how to say, our level of experiencing this may not be similar, may different, may differ in different person. Uh, like we may have given different talents also. Some are given talents of worship. Some are given talents of speaking. Some are given talents of giving. No, so how we serve also it's um, it it may differ in different person. So that is all a part of stewardship. And next is giving. Uh, how we manage God's resources. Uh, how we are managing this earth. What has God given us? So next slide, please. Uh, today, we are going to study uh, stewardship of two parts. Mm, I am preparing for stewardship of God's creation and also stewardship of uh, finances. Stewardship of finances. So we will be studying these two stewardship today. So what is uh, creation? I think I am audible, right? Mm, let us hear some feedback from our campers. Am I audible? Can you hear me properly? Yes, sister, you are audible. Yes, sister, okay. you are audible. Okay, thank you so much, brother. Yeah, thank you for the feedback. Um, okay, now uh, we will, today I am preparing for two stewardship, that is stewardship of God's creation and stewardship of finances. So first we will go into this creation. As we see from the slide, uh, the beauty of God's creation, 
lies in the structure that he has established, as we see from Genesis chapter 1 and 2. We all know that God created the earth in the day. Uh, in the first day, he created the light, that is uh, day and night. And in the second day, he created the heaven, the sky, the land, and the seas. And in the third day, we all know that we can see from Genesis that uh, he created the trees, the herbs, the greenery around, and so on. And in the fourth day, the sun, the moon, and the stars. In the fifth day, the bird, the sea creatures, and the land creatures. And in the sixth day, he created us, mankind. So uh, as we are reading from, if we read from Genesis 1 and 2, we can all see this in the Bible verses. And on the seventh day, he, uh, he took a rest and then celebrated uh, that as the uh, holy day and a Sabbath day, as we uh, Christians are celebrating as using that day as a Sabbath day. And in the next slide, please. Uh, in the Genesis ver uh, chapter 1, verse 31, if we open to our Bible from Genesis 1, 31, uh, it is written that, and God saw all that he had made, and behold, it was very good. So uh, whatever God is creating, he, uh, he claimed it to be very beautiful and good, like, and also the planet earth and the universe is God's creation and we the mankind are God's creation and you know that God could have created you know without uh, he could have created the world uh, that is self-sustaining more like but he did not do it like that and he could have he made human being to enjoy all god's creation no but uh without having to contribute anything but god did not create it like that but Instead, he created, as we see from Genesis 2.15, he created men to do work and to take care of it, as we see in Genesis 2.15. Uh, if we read uh, from this Bible verse, as I have put here, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. No? Uh, that is our stewardship. And uh, let us please go to the next slide. Um, after the fall of men, after the fall of men, yes, uh, next slide. Uh, yes, okay, this slide. Theology of stewardship and creation. Let us have a look, a close look at uh, yeah, Genesis 2.15. As we see from that Bible verse, uh, God tells us uh, to the Garden of Eden uh, to keep it. No different Bible version is here. Uh, we are called to keep it. No? Uh, and we are also called to guard it according to the good news version. And we are also called to maintain it. And we are also called to watch over it. And we are, we are also called to look after it. And also we are uh, called to take care of it. No? And the Bible describes creation as it and not as he or she. Uh, creation as it, not as he or she. Because creation is, it can't be at address as he or she uh, uh, or in the sense of uh, mother art is also not proper because that is creation uh, the art is created for us to work and still work like some i think we may have heard some people you know some non-believers they worship uh, there are some cultures who are worshiping the moon who are worshiping the sun i don't know if we are from different states who are present here 
uh, I think we are not, uh, we may be here also. Uh, but while I was, I used to study in uh, Arunachal Pradesh, I am, I was an agriculture graduate. And in there, they are worshiping the sun and they are calling Donipolo. So there are some people who are worshiping uh, even the sun also. So they are worshiping the creation, but not the creator. So, uh, so but the Bible and God teaches us uh, in, not in that way. We should be worshiping the creator, not the creation. And uh, we are to work and steward on it. Yes, uh, next slide, please. So after the fall of man, like, um, well, uh, we all know that in Genesis, Adam and Eve, they ate the forbidden fruit, uh, the tree of knowledge that was not supposed to be eaten. So God was uh, expelling them from the Garden of Eden. So from that, uh, did God reverse the command? No, he did not reverse the command. But instead, uh, from Genesis uh, chapter 3, 17 and 18, we saw that curse is the ground because of you, Adam, mankind, in toil you shall eat of it all of your life. Both thorns and thistles, it shall grow you. For you and you shall eat the plants of the field. More. And then, what are you talking about? I think it's okay if I say some part in Mizzou, right? Is it okay from the camper side? Yes, sister, it's fine. Mm, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I will say some part in Mizzou also. Um, I natural resources Genesis is the ground ทิลเอ็งเอ็งมอนิเตอร์นี่ตัวเดียวตัวเรานี่อ่ะเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ็งเอ
mal ang ay kajuanin alim to lo tukani juwang chan khang ka engwang nge kan ki chuanin global warming ke i katyang zong zong wang mishing te ina mo kan take care environment i forest te kan ki chat ten ni tuka wang te katyang a wang a climate change lo om zong zong te ka ani juwang chuanin it is uh, we are supposed to take care of it and not uh, destroying the earth chuan so, uh, next slide please as we see, mankind, uh, due to the earth, is uh, having all kinds of pollution and floods and everything going on. And next slide, please. Uh, yes. Uh, in spite of this, did God forsake the planet and his people? The answer is no. Uh, in spite of all the things that are happening, God is not forsaking the planet and his people. God's plan for Adam and Eve continued. So, uh, God did not reverse the command to take us uh, to us take care, but He ordained a plan for redemption. Uh, Genesis, uh, as we see from Genesis twelve, you no, know, He chose Abraham. He said that He wanted to bless all the nations through him. If we are reading from um, Genesis twelve, uh, we can see that. He, Abraham is the uh, we all know that Abraham is the father of all the nation. Uh, uh, Abraham So he uh, uh, he wanted to bless all the nations through him. So uh, and he said to Abraham that he will uh, bless him and uh, and through him. Uh, and through him, all the uh, people, all the nations will prosper. So uh, we, we can see from that Bible verse. And then the nations Israel constitute includes active expression of stewardship of creation. And uh, from, from that Genesis, we can see uh, that God is calling us. Uh, God did not forsake the people, but instead he promised uh, he promised to bless us. Uh, I will just read this uh, Genesis 12, verse 2. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. No, he said that he will make his name great and he will be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse and all people on earth will be blessed through you. So God did not forsake us, but instead he, he promised us, he promised to bless us. And in Colossians per, uh, chapter one, verse 20, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. No? Because of uh, Jesus, lali swa ti sen nuwa vang kanin he kovel hu chan dam man ya. Lali swa ala ukal le don ti ka. Si prophecies about the coming of Jesus for a renewed earth. No til siyam thar gan lao ni ta ni. Because of the new renewed earth. Uh, because of that, we are all renewed. Everyone is renewed and we are having salvation. No, God is not forsaking us, but he is giving us new, uh, new earth. Uh, through the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, next slide, please. And how do God view those who destroy God's creation? From Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, we can see that God is deeply concerned about the destruction of the planet. And God is also God is rewarding the prophets and also destroying those who are destroying the earth. Uh, I think uh, if we all read from that, uh, from the slide, uh, we can see that uh, the nations were angry and your red has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and your saints and those who reverence your name, both small and great, and for destroying those who destroy the earth. No, but yang kan in India, me me tum lau ni mo kovel di sa tu te, i kovel ah ah eh mass destruction kan tu te mo i stewardship ni te i tihok ting lau tu te ka pat yang suan in India me me tum lau he is ah he is planning to 
uh, the destroy those who are destroying the earth. Uh, next slide, please. So as we can see that, uh, how do gods view those who destroy God's creation? Uh, 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 we already uh, see that God's judgment is coming upon those who are destroying the earth. The nations were angry, but your wrath has come. Uh, the time has come for the dead to be judged and to give reward your servants and prophets. To the saints and to those who fear your name, both small and great, the time has come to destroy those who destroy the earth. So don't think that you can escape. Uh, if you are among, if I hope that uh, none of us here uh, is among the, the people who God is going to destroy because of our destruction to earth. So if even if we happen to be one today, uh, let us all uh, come to know that, um, let us all, uh, turn back from our sins uh, and take our responsibility as our uh, as a stewardship you know, uh, to take care of this earth and not to destroy because God's wrath will come upon us uh, uh, because we cannot escape. Uh, God said that he will destroy those who destroy the earth. Uh, then uh, next slide, please. So we live at the time the earth, God's beautiful planet is being destroyed at a faster pace than ever. As I have already said, because of we, the mankind are uh, creating all kinds of, uh, all kinds of uh, destruction, mass destruction to the earth, like pollution. I think we all know that uh, in this world, many uh, pollution is already there through our, uh, through our machines to our factories, uh, uh, to everything, you know, to the chemicals also, we are uh, polluting the water and to our wastage, you know, the garbage. And you can put a lot of pipe down on the zone, and you can put a lot of pollution in the water. They will consider and pay me, maybe as a believer, as a steward, uh, as a good steward of God, that is all a part of pollution. You can put a lot of pipe down on the zone, อีอปัยนัมมุนาอ่ากันหมุลกละวนิปนกันอิตเตอร์อ่ากันอักชาเมตุรณีอ่าอิงเงมิเตนมินชาระมินทีเรงจุบังซวานินอีคังติเตอร
and also we are supposed to have a self-sustaining life. Uh, there can be many lists, our list can be endless. So uh, uh, it can be many more uh, what we didn't mention also. So let us go to the next slide. Uh, in Romans 8, verse 22, we know that the whole creation has been groaning in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. If we read from that Bible verse, we will see the groaning of God's creation is more audible and visible than ever. And next slide, please. So to sum up, uh, stewardship of uh, God's creation Stewardship of God's creation is mandate, is our mandate, no, is mandatory for us. As we see from Genesis 2:15, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Uh, our work to work upon it and take care of it. It is our stewardship. Let us all remember that. And through uh, the redemption of creation, no, uh, from the effects of man's sin is a plan of God. Uh, through Jesus Christ's blood, we are given a new world, new creation. So what we can do, what we have to do, God did not forsake us, but instead to take care of this earth. So let us all know our responsibility and let us also know that God will judge and destroy those who destroy this earth. And, this, uh, and it is a serious sin. Let us also know that today we might have been committing a serious sin uh, that... Uh, God is uh, taking very seriously, you know, just by the way you live, just by the way you view your environment, the way what uh, your action towards the environment, you, have, you may have sinned today. So let us learn today and turn back from all these, uh, uh, from all these uh, things and be a good steward. So therefore, God is calling us for action. So uh, next slide, please. So what do we do? Uh, so what next is that we those restored from Ephesians 2, verse 10, for we are his workmanship creator, created in Christ Jesus for good works. So we are, uh, we are to be restored through fellowship with God and through faith in Christ. We are, uh, we are supposed to have hope uh, for tomorrow. No, we should not uh, we can still make it no? uh, because uh, through um, uh, by restoring our fellowship, our relationship with God and by uh, also having faith in Christ as our hope uh, because God is creating us for the good works. Uh, next slide. So what can we do? What can we do is action one, keep worshiping the Lord for the beauty of his creation. No, what is our part? Our part is that uh, in Psalm 19, David, uh, David, uh, David's, uh, in Psalm, in all the Psalm, most of the verses, we can uh, see the songs of praises from David. Uh, he is worshiping the God, no, true, true, he is in awe with the creation. Uh, the heavens, he said that the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim the work of his hands. And he is worshiping and praising God, uh, true, uh, uh, when, he, uh, when he see the creation so beautifully made. I think uh, we are also no less uh, when we see a beautiful sky uh, these days, when, so when you are viewing all those beautiful views uh, through some people's um, through some people's uh, phone or some people's photograph uh, so what what did you see or just by seeing your surroundings around that by seeing the beautiful sky the beautiful sun do you feel in awe with uh, God, with God's creation? So uh, what we can do is worshiping God for and being thankful to God for his creation and having an attitude uh, that, is, that is gratitude. No? Having a gratitude of attitude, uh, we should develop 
uh, in our daily life. So that is one action that we can do today, one practice that we can do today. If uh, And in Philippians chapter 4, God is telling us that uh, in everything that we do, uh, like, we should always uh, praise him and kima lom to shil zil to rin mo lom po ula rejoice in the Lord always. We should always be thankful and having an attitude of gratitude towards God. So let us all keep in our uh, hearts, in our mind. And during, and what about our times? Does the creation reflect the glory of God during this generation, during this 21st century? Uh, when you view the earth and that is around us, uh, do you think that the creation reflects the glory of God? Let us all ponder upon this and let us all uh, reflect uh, to the glory of God. Does we, uh, does we are also part of the creation? No? Does we reflect to the glory of God? Even the nature and us mankind, we are all creation of God. So uh, what do we give glory to? God and also uh, who should be blamed for this um, if we are not reflecting the glory of God then who should be blamed I think we all know the answer uh, we ourselves are responsible right for our own actions and also whom did the creator appoint as the keeper of his creation I think we also all know all the, we also know the answer for this question who did God creator? Who did the creator appoint as the keeper of his creation? No, none less than us. No, we are all appointed. You are appointed. We, I am appointed as the keeper of his creation. And next slide, please. And in action two, what can we do? Develop a lifestyle with creation care. No, what are the today session is practical talk. Uh, practical talk session. So what are the practical ways we can do? Uh, we can uh, turn back from our uh, wrongdoings. No? Or what are the practical ways that we can do is number uh, through the 5R principle. The first point is refuse. Refuse using straws, plastics, uh, use and throw items, all that which is harmful to God's planet that we can refuse and stick to uh, natural or organic. No, this is very practical. I think we can all uh, apply from now itself. So instead of using plastics, you know, these polythene plastics and, and all, if we are just throwing on the roadside, uh, it cannot decompose and it will create uh, soil erosion and it will create a uh, landslide. So, by our own actions, we can harm ourselves. So let us take care. It is also for our own benefit, for our own um, self, for our own advantages, that we should be careful in all these things. So the first is refuse, and the second is reduce. Reduce usage of things that add to the pollution, like plastic paper, fossil fuels, and also next is reuse. Why we need so many things? Why can't we reuse things especially? I think uh, these days even reuse and also recycling, uh, we are like uh, machine can think to our meat can think to our reuse, they recycle to put can to be a zel to our masse as long as long to our can let you know in the field and now I tell what to one time came by me gave for him in a till reuse take the more and then on cut down to his own so the poor car can be zel to the near I think some of you uh, some of us here also may have been practicing this, may have been very creative also. I don't know. Some people like uh, they are using this uh, plastic bottle as like uh, we can use as can, no? Coke can and everything as a pen stand or uh, for keeping pens or uh, stationary items, no? Uh, in that way, you can be also creative and uh, practice this 5R principle. And also, uh, like, next slide, please. Uh, this, so that is all for the uh, stewardship of God's creation. Now we will 
be moving to our next uh, topic of stewardship of wealth and managing finances. Uh, uh, I will not take much time. Um, so is wealth generation a biblical mandate? We can see all these things from Genesis 1, 2, 3, and from the, all these Bible verse. Uh, if you want for uh, these Bible verses, you can uh, screenshot or you can write it down also. And you can read it when you have free time. And next slide, please. So is wealth creation a biblical mandate? A deeper look at Genesis 1, uh, 26 to 215. Uh, when, if we turn to that verses, those references that uh, I have given, God has blessed uh, Adam and Eve and commissioned them to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. They were given the model of garden, garden of Eden that reflected God's glory, inviting mankind to fill the earth with such gardens and people in it. No, a kovel pum puhi ni petian luwa tura minti ania tuan tu mi tu. We should be fruitful. No, we should multiply, fruitful, and bear fruits. Uh, and bear fruits from this earth. No. And also, God could have made the whole world filled, no? uh, as I've already said, instead of um, uh, filled, instead invited, but in a machine, more machine, so on, Ready made vec more type or ready made vec and a tour te satapo ready made vec a minute me vec a tianani in him at the k masse at the lower me because he keep us as a step work uh, to uh, to take care of this and to have our own uh, work not to have our own uh, duty uh, by looking after his creation. So therefore, the creation mandate for mankind is to expand the work that God has begun, filling the earth with his glory. Uh, ecological system ecological balance ti danglam mo environment ti danglam and you are also going to do not want you in the near you're still going to study complete your studies and be an egf one day also and you will be even become a father and a mother one day no so as your life is proceeding as your life is going uh i uh, i pray and hope that you are uh, we are all learning this lesson that even hunting and uh, hunting down the animals, you know, which are good for the ecological balance, uh, we should not do all these things and destroying the forest, you no know, doing deforestation. So I hope that we will be uh, learning all uh, these lessons applying in our future, not uh, not currently now also, but also in the future. Uh, next slide, please. And attitudes while earning and spending, we can see uh, our Bible uh, reverence. So world creation, yes, world creation and expansion was God's agenda for men, as said in Genesis 1 and 2. So it was through the fruit, no product uh, or profit of our cultivation, of their cultivation, that God expected the humankind to sustain themselves and fill the earth. So business for wealth creation and expansion is emphatically biblical. It is very biblical. The Bible teaches us to provide our self-sufficiency 
ตัวนั้นอีกการชีวิตของคนไทยในอเมริกาโควิดชีวิตในอเมริกาอินเทอร์เน็ตเอ่ออุ้มจะติดกันอุ้งอัตราการชุดฮาร์เลสโอกะเ
consumerism. Uh, so I mean, like these days, I think we are all attracted, especially girls. No, it, it's it's a bit girly thing that we are very attracted to buy one get one free. Uh, from very many online shoppings are there. And so even sometimes if we don't need that thing also, since it is buy one, get one free, we are very attracted to it. So that is a part of all consumerism, no? Me ina inge sumdong hote na leitir mundo na ka kami trap akan ke mani ka kami na utang chini. And also buy for uh, uh, festivals, inge excessive buying, mo kanti ang chi, kanti ang zongzo, kanti ang chi te, kanti ang deka. A consumerism part uh, and also skin inflation and the cosmetics you know in these days it's like we are uh, prone to we are so uh, towards uh, skin care more korean skin care they can just seven steps they can get korean skin care product and i am not no more or less from that uh, uh, skin care, tau tak tak ten kan leya, kaka atang tau kan ngay ni lewa kan hai te abola mo, even me myself, I have purging and many pimples. Uh, so that is all, um, that is all thing in, in the things that we should save our money instead of excessive buying the things that are not necessary. We till ka aya chazo kan le te ang ti te le lewa til tau care ve le tu min cha an ti eva nga. เอ่อเนี่ยเต้าตักตะกันบัดเจ็ตมินเหลาเด้อว่าซุ่มมันเต้หมู่กระจางซงซงตะคะอีอปอยเอเมมาอีวิ่งตูเต้อีอิวตะ
wants to can kill do ringot kan ita ni masi ehe kan ba mamo care lao mo ehe some maybe materialistic dao dao te kan ba mamo care lao masi may kan chak ang ti te ka ane te masi needs to something that is necessary for survival such as food and shelter so we must differentiate what is our wants and what is our need uh, I think you are all, and um, uh, as an EU member, uh, I was also a hosteler once. Uh, I have been studying uh, in a hostel during my uh, UG and PG days. So even I am, uh, I am uh, already managing my budget. No, while I was in hostel, I already I learned how to manage my budget. Uh, suppose our mess fee is 1,500 and we and the rest of the money that my family is sending me, suppose they send me 3,000 or 3,500 per month. So I should be able to manage within that, no, apart from my mess fee. So the, how to do is that we should uh, minus our, our wants, no, and we should be more concentrated to our needs. So uh, we see that we, whose money is it anyway? Is it our money? Uh, we consider it, theoretically we say it's the Lord's money, yet we consider it as our hard earned money. And when we state that we reveal that we believe that the ownership and its spending right is ours, and then we will be spending as per the means, no? as per the availability of the money. When we have more, we will be buying more costly things. And when we, are, we have less, we will be buying only basic things. In that process, who makes the decision? Is it not the money? Is it not the money or the means? Or, uh, but the Bible says that no one can have, no one can serve two masters. You cannot serve both God and money in Matthew 6, 24. So if our spending decisions are led by our means, we are unfortunately being led by money and not by the Lord. No? If we are spending uh, our money in, in, in terms of our wants, not our needs, then we are led by the money and not by God. No? God is the author. Uh, he is the owner of this money, uh, of everything. So can we say at each of our spending, the Lord is our Lord and that he has the Lordship over our money and that he asks us to spend and therefore we are spending. Applying that, uh, what would Jesus do uh, for uh, if we have some few money uh, or some small pocket? Uh, uh, so how do we spend? Uh, well, how will Jesus spend? No, that is what our mindset should be. It's a practical step that we can adopt. Uh, next is resolution. Yes, budgeting our wealth, earning, spending, saving, investing, and giving. Next slide, please. Uh, I, there is only few slides left now. Uh, budget and plan for giving it to the poor. No? Uh, what can we, God is telling us, biblical spirituality calls for a responsible concern for the poor. Uh, we should have concern for the poor. It calls for radical changes. And then I bazaar at the kuto te ang jusin dati ro ang ilapong kan bulong naivel kan shan. Kahit ang bazaar kila bati mo open niya bati kaya ngay lang kan shan te po ni si Mihal sa betak tak te po an omnet hay kan hiya shan te kahit ang leklem te ito na tawag na talk tawag lawan omnet hay mas e leklem te ay kan lao chan tui bet hay ang entinanin yung som som hite ay kilpoy mo dewa ang lao mamua kan lao pek hay leti ka that is helping and giving to the poor and also kay po inti chat bang lam po ni lawin bazaar ay bazaar ka bazaar hituan ay zo at zong kudo te antam bet hay ano ma by God's grace kakal chang ay lawa kaya mte po ni si pek kado kachi na ito bang tanin as as a believer uh, we should be practicing to help the poor. No, itam loa kan pe thei lao po ni me thei ma se thei mtel kan pe po kan yin kan thei to ka ato kan ni. And uh, let your uh, blessed to be a blessing calls for a responsible living. Next slide, please. Uh, we are nearly ending. 
uh, budget and give systematically and regularly to church. No, as an EU member, uh, as an EU member, which uh, uh, how do we practice this? We will give systematically uh, to the uh, mission to the uh, whatever church we are involved or to the UASI we are involving. Like some uh, contributions used to be there, like monthly. Uh, if not, we can reach to that extent as a via can be clear. We put them there, can be more, can can more pull. Na, ani it is giving to the church and mission is our responsibility. Next slide, please. And so, uh, to sum up, uh, yes, ask them save and invest holistically for onward effective life. Saving and in, uh, investing, ask the Lord to expand their mission arenas and use your savings for missional life. Do not join in in the saving, no saving for in the native. No, make him a sin, a kina, a student in the ring, don't know why he not in the name in the talks. Don't join to two and who not join in a yak and park dog and a patian ram tana, no param zauna tana can take the can came at me. But hands on two take a minute, I wrote a little so some of a cat to poke and take me to any time. He comes on to poke her in here. He bring two can you have a tea to any are two bang on in in the Kinzella in her polo tokila. He in line up polo kalila for cock and my poem to any invest and grow to be a greater blessing for his kingdom. Ensure that our trust is not in the savings and our savings be at our savior's disposal. And the last slide, please. Next, it, uh, yes. Next, please. So, uh, yes. So to sum up, yeah. Isaiah fifty-four, verse two to three. Uh, if we read that, enlarge the place of your tent. Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your uh, stakes. For you will spread. Out to the right and to the left, your descendants will dispose us nations and settle in their desolate cities. So we can see from that uh, Isaiah 54, uh, God is telling us to enlarge our tents, more enlarge our hands. And uh, William Carey quotation, expect great things from God and attempt great things for God. So this is all the practical talk that we can have today. And I hope that we are, uh, we will be learning. And uh, may the almighty God bless you all. Thank you so much. Yes, now I give time to our host. Thank you, sister, for enlightening practical talks and for reminding us of our responsibilities uh, as a Christian. Uh, now we will hand over our time to our uh, director, Brother Sankhya. Brother, over to you. Thank you so much, Sister, for leading and uh, <clears throat> the session. And thank you so much, Sister Linda, for your availability. I hope we have a great time and uh, no responsibility. So to end the practical talk with a prayer, uh, may we invite... Uh, Sister Lute, a resource person. Hello, sister. Okay. Yes, brother. Oh, let us look to God in prayer. <clears throat> Gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank and we praise you for this beautiful time and a wonderful time uh, to study uh, your words. And Father, we thank you for uh, giving us another fruitful session again. Father, we thank you for Sister Linda's life. We thank you for her availability, Father, as we study uh, our responsibilities and how to use our uh, monies or the things that we had and our time or ourselves in a more better way as an uh, EU uh, member. So, Father, we keep uh, all the things that we had learned out into your mighty hand. Father, help us not only to hear or not only to know it, but also to live with it, to uh, show out and to live with it out uh, to others, uh, those who are uh, with us. Father, we give all of our time and ourselves into your mighty hand, the sessions that we are going to have also, Father, we uh, give and we commit ourselves into your loving care. All these things we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you so much, sister, for the prayer. And now we have we are finally here. The time for the question and answers. The answers to our questions, we can say. And <clears throat> so I hope we are all enthusiastic and eager to hear uh, the, the answers to our questions. And today we have fortunately three panelists and there are a few questions here and we may have time for each question, five minutes each, uh, maximum five minutes each for each questions to answer. And I hope our resource persons are ready uh, for the question. And before we move on with the questions, let us commit ourselves into God's hand. Let's pray. Almighty God in heaven, thank you so much for the day. Thank you so much for the sessions that we have. Thank you so much for the fruitful sessions that you are with us. We can feel that we are, you are with us. Thank you so much for being with us. And right now, we are about to uh, provide the answers uh, that we received from our experiences from you uh, to the questions of the campers. Please help our resource persons uh, to, to express what uh, they have experienced through you and that we may hear from you through them. With thanksgiving, we commit the Q&A sessions into your loving care. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, I hope Amen. our panelists are ready. Yes. Okay, so I will start my screen sharing. I hope my screen is visible. Yes, yes, very clear. Wow. Okay, here are the questions for the doctrinal sessions. Uh, it may be in Mizong. <laughs> We may translate it uh, later on. Tharao thirpek hi mi zong zong taan nghe ni ang atan big shiak thi de taan chau. I think this is a concern for uh, the doctrinal session. So, Brother Zawa is uh, an expert in this. So, may we invite Brother Zawa to answer this. Thank you, Brother. Thank you so much and that's few seconds. I think that there was for Akima and Akima will be joining a little late. So can we move to my part? Uh, please check it again. During that, I will show you my position. I enjoy the evening session, high school town. Yeah, this is high school town, Kohai, and this is Kohai village. <laughs> yeah, here. I guess. Born and I live. High school tanga train car on Zom Tel Heko Hai Kang Hai. Nita tour man. Kabe ground car on Sangdewa. And then Ven Ula and relax. So good high school building and yeah. Car. Kohai. That's the second coldest place in Mizora. Okay, Kohai. Sampai is the coldest place. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Kohai village, Mr. Philip. For uh, ice breaking. Just one minute. <laughs> that, that is a, a, a good knowledge for us, Brother Zawa, to, uh, that we will not be visiting. We haven't visited. Thank you for letting us visit through visual and yeah. thank you for the knowledge that it is the second coldest in Mizoram. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I changed my room. I was delivering a message last two nights in the headmaster room. Okay, this is the headmaster room. So. I am very fortunate God bless me in this way. My uh, former teachers gladly accepted my humble request and they allowed to uh, spend this office and uh, all the rooms of this building yeah, for these three days or that may be extendable also. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry for yeah delaying you. <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Uh, that was refreshing. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. Uh, Okay, now the, the questions, con question concerning uh, Brother Zawa's session. Isun inni adi ang hi ang bangge kanun chua kui te chin lo le. So I over to you, brother. 
Thank you for the question. Um, it was asked in Mizo, so that I'll answer in Mizo. Um, and I'll explain a bit for Mr. Philip also what exactly uh, the question there arise. Jesus said, uh, you are the light of the world and you are, you are. So why cannot we put into practice or how, uh, why it cannot be reality in our life? That was their question, I think. This is very, very important question. Lali suan in ni eti ho ka. Kanan zira kan mua tam taka kan. Na tinge kan ni te tan lau ti laya ka. Ngay una wa te poin ang lau te ko panga. Una u rau rau ka nule pa ina an tupek te tituran ti te andu dan an soy ang ka. An nun chua pui da na in ang chuang lau ni a chen chuan an zom. Tra dewa chen yin zom. Tra lawa chen pei chuan. จุดจริงนั้นเนี่ยเล็ดเทียนี่เอ็งเงี้ยชั้นเนี่ยงที่เขาลงไอตัวตายละเอ็งเงี้ยเนี่ยงโอ้ชั้นนะคะ Mani most pride tepo mani chapo na mo. Shang shang tepo ni nga kan nule pate hi kan ring chin kan tia. Generally ni dikta ni. Mo kovel kan nule pate po. Ma se ala in chen lo may chen kan nule pate kan da san dan tele. An tu kan zom dan tepo ka. Ala in ang lo may tia ni. So tiang tia chon na li suwa na a command te mo. Kan identity asoye te ka. At taka kan nuna ka na lang suwak te lo. ตัดชีนนี่ที่ชวนกันไงตัวกันไงตัวตาเอ็งเงี้ยชั้นนี้ยังเดียกขัดชุมมีชุนีเบรติชวนน่ะสวยฮารังอามาโรจุกันเครีย
lal isuan in nate kan siat cian cuan mani kasu kan yang sediang siang doa nanti mai lal isuan miro ra lal isuan dar thalang a kros dar thalang a kan kan ni nakan zupunga cuan kan ni napa kan lau siang ve doa ni lal isuan siat cian tu tengai ni cu iti mai dia kita omnan lal isuan kan lal pa kan sendam tuahi kan siat cian tu tengai tu mi cang cuan kan ni nak kan lau zauve zel doa nanti tiang kan kan cang tu tengai Thank you so much, brother. Thank you all. Thank you so much, brother, for the answer. I hope uh, our question is answered. And even if we have any question other than the questions here, uh, we may have uh, extra time by the end of the, the questions here. So next question. Mm. Kan ngay tuwa na tehi, kan control tayo si lawa. Kan til dulo, kan ngay tuwa trin tehi, suwala na tehi ngayon. I think this is also concern for Bada Zawa. Thank you. Thank you, brother. I think this is my second and last question. Let me continue. We won't spend much time, if that's all. This is about or wrong thoughts. Mister, they ask about we cannot control our thoughts. Um, the things we don't want to think, we think uh, we did. So it is a scene like that. Can I do not control Taylor? What do you call my gun to know the book and long way to a zel chin any? To two can control table seal or so on any empty calonita. Boy mole, my ya. Mesin yang itu ana mangtai ingkan om ti cun siapa kan? Yang itu ana kan mangtai rau pui. Eh, memang ya. Kan yang itu a, macam apa? Po tanya ni ni. Eh, rong ten bola. Nanti ni kan siam don, kabai don ni. Di sini yang itu ana kan yang mangtai tai rau pui. Eh, memang ya. So di rau le rau cun kan siapa tu tu? Mesin yang itu a, nahi. Mesin yang itu a, nahi petian yang itu a, nene nene ang lau. Di kan kan cun po tanga. Isaiah fifty five verse eight bela kan kan mua. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways nor your ways. As the heaven is higher than the earth, my thought is far from your thoughts. Titani. But here, I do not let machine. I do not hear in Tauru to play Levan Anganitia, transcendent, Timle Maranganitia. Can I do not him, but here, I do not name Anglo Emmani. He coron. So he must do a point of a lute toad. Tura ka nga ya, kan ngay tuwa na chung chang a khan. Po la po ka buwai vya chi na, du lau zo ka ti le chi na, a ti ang ka. A ngay tuwa na betil po ka na sa do na ni, i ka na om om maya ni. Eng po tu lau ni ta se la, evil thoughts di ang ka ni te ang ngay tuwa na, suwa la ni ta du lau kan ngay tuwa zu, om zi a zu. Mak vya dao zu mi shing ni tiang kan han til ti re re in chir na kan nei vya te po hi mo guilty he. He hi an kan tum lau pui ya. Minti tir tu hi o man yang kadu lo wa tu na hi na pa kan kalau du siya tu na hi kadu le to si lo wa Kakonsens po na du le to si lo Ingi mo ni minti tir tu A o man yang a ti te ka lo chuak chi na ni mo Kan han in chir le ringot may te kan ngay tu na ni mo kan til ti kan in chir le ringot te hi Kan ngay tu a du lo pui min ngay tu a tir kan ti du lo pui minti tir tu kao man yang a ti te lo ni a Rombong sari apa pola pentar na apa beti lakukan nasa emma kakalau ni tan mayang po ni tasela setan ani ya min ngai tua tira ti ang kacuan kat yang zongkan yang lawin keron soi lawanga kadu kadu lai tak kacu missing tu angai tua na zong zong hisual lambek angai tua chi di he kalau po indu ni Suala tu to missing fallen men katuan after the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. So all our thoughts is full of evil, full of evil. Kan ngai tuan na zong zong isual lam vek di Bible in min sila ni. Wana trang inal panaron ena on ngai tuan na susual lam vek at yan. Eh, chay talking kan in mga kaini po. Eh, patihan tu te kan ngai tuan. Masi kan ngai tuan na katiang lim di na ni hao chuang lao. Suwal lam liir kan ngay tuwa chin misingin. Hey, kan ngay tuwa ngaya. Decision kan siyam po. Misingin decision niya siyamin e nga siyam chin. Number one na. 
สวลละทางทีสวลละทางทีมาจวนไงตัวนะสวลเฮกันเนี่ยนี่ไม่มาเนี่ยยันม่องไงตัวนะสวลขะเลาอมนี่สวนปอยขัดอินกันขาระแง
patian tiang him na chang te khan alo tiang him lo em em maya tu wang chuan confession te nei reng tur kan ni diklai mai po hian mo e kan chat na ber te po seng khan patian tan kon chenang kai mai ni a tu na hi chuan tu mi ril ru te chu kan lo pu the ngem patian in e kan tharau mi te min ti var zelang ti ka ka be se bo kan ni ule ti khan talo changa nge kalome all right, thank you so much, brother, for the, for the wonderful answer to our question. Thank you so much, brother, once again. And so I hope our question is answered. And if we have any other question, we may open the time uh, by the end. And the next question is for Uncle uh, Anti Shalom. Is it you? Hello. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Okay. So here is your next your question. As you students, how are we to deal with those that follow and believe in false the teachings or doctrines? Mm. Can we invite them to actively in the interact in EU programs or could it cause problems? Over to you, Uncle. Yes, uh, this is a very good question. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Right, so uh, your friend who is believing uh, false teachings or doctrines, he also, he will be thinking that uh, what I believe is right and what you believe is wrong. He will not be uh, you know, he will not be thinking that yes, I'm believing uh, my belief is uh, wrong belief. But since I'm belief, so let me stick to this belief, though it is wrong. He and she may not be like that. So he and she also fully convicted that what I believe is right. You see, they also been taught with conviction and uh, with, you know, uh, with conviction and so that way uh, there again we uh, EU student comes in here uh, he is your friend is the one who is either misled or he is you know uh, following the false doctrines or teachings so as we have been uh, talking that mm, even the theme itself, let your light so shine before man that they may see your good works and give glory to your father who is in heaven. So we talk about is being the salt and being the light and be, to be different, to be different. So <clears throat> your friend who believes uh, in false doctrines and false teachings, he or she doesn't have, uh, the Holy Spirit is not living in him. And so since the Holy Spirit is not living in him or her, there is no joy, there is no love, there is no peace. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is not there in them. So in the process of your friendship, you will have to, you have the joy, you have the love, you have that fruit of the Holy Spirit and you are you know, denying yourself, right? As we are talking about self-denying. But for them, there is no self-denial. Whatever they see, they enjoy Whatever they want to speak, they speak and they, they don't have any self-control. There is no fruit of the Holy Spirit in them. But in the process, there is no joy, there is no love, there is no peace. So, but whereas they will have to start to, will have to make them start thinking, hey, how come I believe this with conviction and they also believe differently but whereas 
I am able to see the difference. They are so loving. They are so, uh, they are so caring, loving, and they are so respectful. They are so different. There is a uh, you know, joy, there is uh, peace in them. But whereas I'm so restless, I'm so agitated, I'm so disturbed all the time, there is no peace of mind. We'll have to make them see the difference in us in the first place, right? In the first place. Then in the process, uh, you will have to, no problem, no problem of inviting them, no problem of uh, you know, inviting. Inviting is, you know, is an opportunity. But here again, <clears throat> that witnesses for me, you know, a life of an EU student over here, it is very clearly given, be kind. And EU members life and witness, okay? Be kind, compassionate, and patient with friends, especially those who are without Christ or those who are believing false teachings and wrong doctrines, right? So make friendship and share the love of Jesus without despising them for their sinful ways or uh, different faiths. But take care not to be influenced by them. See, uh, you mix with them, be, be with them, and but in the first place, you and I have to be strong in our relationship with the Lord so that we are not being driven or we are not being influenced by them. If you and I are not enjoying in our relationship, we are, not, we are compromising our quiet time, we are prayer compromising, going for fellowship, you will be influenced by them. So in the first place, we need to be strong and, uh, 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 you know, different. And, in, you know, building relationship, very, very important. They don't love, but you'll have to show your joy, genuine love, care, you know, care, genuine love, genuine care, and then make yourself available to them and uh, invite them or to the evangelistic camp you know directly inviting them to the leadership training camp and all they will feel out of place and they will not be able to understand also so we have different levels of camps or maybe evangelistic retreat or evangelistic camp that is an opportunity for them and at the same time you know since they are your friends, sometimes uh, since you are in the same age group, same level, you may uh, sometimes find difficult to, uh, you know, uh, 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 they may, if they happen to be more smart or, I mean, more knowledgeable and things like that, because these people, they read a lot, they, their knowledge is very wide also. So in a time like that, you introduce you know, introduce them to your seniors, like graduates, you know, like the senior graduates, and they will also be able to, you know, lovingly talk to them and, you know, try to uh, clarify their doubts and help them out. You know, again, there comes like uh, mentoring them or uh, praying with them and then uh, so uh, helping them because they will they will caught up with a lot of problems a lot of problems so we can be available and senior graduates can also be available you know uh, helping them out so be uh, with them and but we have to make sure that you and i are uh, strong in the first place and uh, so that uh, they see the difference in us you know so our lives should be contagious and, you know, uh, infectious. When they see us, oh, wow, he is, wow. Even the way he walks, see, walking also, tuk, 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 you know. And then, oh, when the spirit is moving in us, you know, there's a lot of excitement. 
in our expression, in our singing, facial expression, everything. So our lives should be full of lives because God the Holy Spirit lives in us. Thank you. I don't know whether I'm answering the questions. Question? I think that's very clear, Akhan. Thank you so much, Uncle, for the clear answer and how we are supposed to be for students of other uh, other religion. And brother, brother, thank Look, my yes. brother, Uncle Philip is very clear. Uh, let me add it in Mizo just a few minutes. Ah, Uncle. please, 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 yeah. Uh, only one question left. <laughs> That's why let me add it. Ring low me, Amo, other religion, friends from other faith, Baka Asoika, Christiana in Salto, Masse, and any false doctrine, Rin Nadik local, Sual, the pony might as well to real worker, Kang Shang Shang Ho, Kang Hoka EU fellowship, the active takin. I balance e kha kha poi mo achu rc sprout soi tang hian ka ril rungai to na ro lo kha mai theology fellowship in khom reng reng hi enge ni for feeding the sheep ani phot ta ni beram chom na tu ra lo ni ta ni beram chom da tu ra ni tok ta ni kan in khom te i u reng reng hi beram cho pe ka ngai ta ni achu ril tu te pon beram tu kha lo ni phot ta ni sheep akha kal sualte khatiang chi mo kal ti mo khatiang chi kal sualte 80 se pon lo ni to mai thei tu na chon ko le cha khatiang khan agnostic 80 se pon ti to a khang ho te kha category ang en om don kan ti khan kel anga khan ngai thei ta ni phot maya kel ang kha lo ngai to ta ola ma se om ta ni bible trang khan Kang Hoka can fellowship part the can attend to ring and so mang empty, so mang the caloni letanic and so manga, and Ron Kalka can welcome don potani. Hey, lo, he huang dang kalane, the potiella liso can beram huang ala senglo to countea, gale a po calonita sella fellowship park hand can lo don tani, and so m don tani. A maro to katakan can so can so manga, a soy ante can put Philippa can. Angola min polu to run ilo top. Many came on near Kark and Chakanga, a Beram Chok and Pedon came into an Anga and can to say Dan Pok and Tak Taylawa, Doctrine Kanga, Ranganga, same menu can Pedona name, Beram Teka can I put more Berdona, a Turka can Penga, Kakan Pom, Pom Lomo, and on Lud Veni Katuana Chatani, and no Pom Lotina ten page one. Like a calm Tata, no Pom Lo Vetina, and Bilrua. Trong trong tam mi dau ten ni a inge mo you meeting at the an soi vaka mo inge mo pay chuan confusion at siem te wang kan kan stand point na kang ngai reng si kan mo magai na nian friendship nian kat yanga som si kan kan ti ngai tani ka ka kategori ka tiar tiar har har hala po la chuan believer zinga ring lo mi te kat chuan ring lo via wa ring tu ni siya cover ni na in compromise ang chi te kat kat chuan com do su chuan Chian lo tu te ti ve le bo kan ni kala ka thiam angai ve kho maya mo ma ka soi te po ka thian te hou po ati kha amma kha if they can influence to bad habits mark said his testimony okay if they can influence for bad things so that is not good and on influence palang ti la uma wang khan ma ka kha chuan wa so ma mo wa kom nai kha tum to lo wa Chuyện tôi trả tắc sĩ khan, mắng trả thấu bộ khan đi. Vẫn bảo là xỉa mà ngày mắng trả thấu ta, có lại một xe bê đủ lâu ăn tí nên đi lâu khan. In in công ngay tắc ăn ăn close ăn tắc cả khả và ông khai rèm lâu chi nào mà. Chứ vàng số nó còn đi số nó nhìn thấy đó nè. Thà rau là mà cần sạc cả cần những lâu viêu lâu chuan. Cái mà nè 
kapo ka kan na no panga kum la ma te po chu wang chuan min influence zok thei dei maya kala ka film khur takin ti taila but my last point uh, just uh, 10 seconds we should know as we said last night we are in this world but not of this world ko ve la kan che na wang in not isolation Isolation, trong kama lara tiro tu na COVID. Isolation na ni tuwan ni chuang lawni. Confined within ourselves, within our family. Not isolation. The Christian life, the called out one life in the world is not isolation, but insulation. Could you make the difference? Isolation ni lawin insulation tuwan ni. Ah, long ay tuwan chung zom tewa English de kan. Ati ang dawin kahiyak le tiam to lao. Eh, rang tur si kan ang yani in la rang si lao kan mo. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, brother. Okay. Hey. Yes. Hey. Uh, hey, uh, that uh, I want to say something again, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Go on. Yes. So, uh, see, in our culture, uh, there is no, there is no, there is no my culture. There is no your culture. We are we now we are called out ones. We follow the biblical culture only. No Naga culture, no Mizo culture. Yes. On, only Bible culture. Okay. So I just want to bring out one point is that you know <clears throat> when you travel to Champai or Kohai or Kozol or you know Saiha or Lumli. When there is a particular point where we pray and go very, very good. Very, very good. We stop the vehicle, so more, and then either driver or one of the passengers will pray, don't try, and very nicely pray. But after the prayer, what happens? After the prayer, oh, the mouth becomes red. After the prayer, full of, you know, uh, polluted, fully polluted, you know. So now EU students, we are talking about the light and soul. And then everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. See, God has created you and I in his own image with the tender flesh, okay, so tender lips and tongue, our organ, everything is so tender. But you know what? What is there in the uh, pan pata, you know, leaves? The, the lime is so strong and powerful, and it is eating up our body, consuming, consuming. See, these things. Even in the family, if father is drinking, if father is smoking, if father is eating bitter nut, then, you know, these EU students have to raise our voice and say, oh, this is, this is not biblical. This is not our culture. We have to follow the biblical culture. We have to make them feel guilty even if they smoke and drink or eat. Whatever things that they consume, it is your responsibility and my responsibility to make them, it's wrong, it is sin. It is sin. You know, uh, if EU student, if any EU student goes to South and uh, North and say, I'm an EU student, and if the EGF, they see us, or if uh, people see, say I'm a graduate, and if they see me smoking, if they see me, you know, consuming bitter nut, and wow, finish. You are gone. You are gone, kids. Uh, you, are, you are gone. So this pain also, if, uh, you know, when you, uh, your friends from other faith or your friend who is not serious, if they give you uh, a secret to smoke, you also smoke, you also eat bitter nut, you also drink, you also watch, 
Okay, okay, together, together. What is the difference? There, they should see the difference in us. So, uh, as for this thing is, uh, looks very silly, but it is not biblical. So anything which is not biblical, which is, is not be beneficial. So we'll have to, uh, as EU students, you see, as EU students, we have to be different than light and soul. Thank you so much. Sorry, I have taken too much time. Ah, oh. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Uncle. Oh. We have plenty of time. Thank you so much for the answers, Brother Zawa and Uncle Philip. We have one more question. Uh, I think I think uh, Brother Akima is here with us. Hello, Brother. Brother Akima, hello. Yes, Brother. Okay. Here is one question. Uh, here is question for you, brother. Tarao tilpek hi mi zong zong tang e ni ang atan big reacti the tan so. Can you answer this for us? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Am I audible? Actually, I'm in yes. my office and like cars and buses are coming around every time. May you please bear for one or two minutes. So. The question, I'm a bit confused when, oh, okay. So let me be short, let me be brief. I know some of you are already like kind of sleepy. Okay, sister Rebecca, come with you. Oh. ตัวเองกันช่างอ่ะคราวที่เป๊ะที่มีสองสองตาเนี่ยปัจจัยนี้อันนี้มีติ่งจุ่มอ่ะที่อันคราวที่เป๊ะก็เป๊ะอ่
question, we may open for one or two from the campers. Any question? Okay, I think not. Uh, so we are done exactly on time. And I think it's uh, God's plan again. And God it has been good to us throughout the camp up to this point. And so a few announcements before we go on to the end. Tonight, it, it, as it is the, the last night as a discipleship training camp, as a camper of Discipleship Training Camp 2021. Uh, tonight, uh, the devotion will be in a formal way. So for tonight's devotion, we should dress in our best dresses, in our formal dresses. And we may also take photos and it will be time for our result declaration, the top 10 most active campers and the best group and everything. So. Let's go uh, to the. Let's sit in front of our Zoom with our best dresses, like in front, uh, like in the church, uh, with our formal dresses, with our suits, maybe. So tonight would be formal. So, and let us be punctual again, as we always do. Congratulations to all the active campers and those who make it uh, from time to time due to the internet signal or something. Thank you so much for your attend, uh, for for your for attending and for your active participation and for all the inputs and thank you so much, uh, dear resource persons, everyone. And in case I miss out anything, uh, we will clarify it in the WhatsApp group. And to end this Q and A session, may I request uh, Brother Akima to end us with a prayer. Let's look to God in prayer. Oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your guidance throughout this session. We pray and believe that you will continue to uh, touch those campers and all of us who are presenting in this time of meeting, Lord. Lord, we are so thankful that you love us so much. We are so thankful for your grace, your sufficient grace, Lord. Help us to adapt and adopt what you have given to us, what you have given for us, Lord. And Lord, as we will go, we will be continuing our camp now till tonight, Lord. May you continue to guide us and bless us and be with all of us. And Lord, we also pray that tonight more members will attend this very special time. Lord, may you so may you touch each and every one of the members so that they will have the will to attend this meeting. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, brother. And before we leave, I remember one thing that I forgot that is one important announcement. Uh, the link for the feedback form would be posted in the WhatsApp group and we will do the review of the camp. Uh, we will do the feedback of the camp and we will take a screenshot of that feedback and our final setting will be based on that. Thank you so much. And see you all at 6.5.